I have another story time from my Hospice Care Wives series. Okay, she says, I have plenty of experience doing that hospice wife nonsense. I didn't have a giant problem with it, and it can be problematic. However, if the men that seemed put together were at least good men nowadays, it would be different. One I dropped due to serious flaws in character. He was older, wasn't too ill, but the major flaws were unrelated to any illness, and also ran into one recently that just ran me through a run ran me through for a loop. I am basically sitting here offended and appalled at the behaviors. We're all grown. I'm damn near 50. We know what's going on. Some of us were actually doing the caretaking wife thing, did it well, and kept up to date on current men's health issues. And would actually be with one because we enjoy it like it's a job we love. But the men have to actually be good men. And I'm seeing where many are not. What they consider being a good man is outdated and does not compensate for the mental strain in caring for an elderly sick man, exclusively as a caretaker and wife. Both roles carried out at the same time. Men still seem to think money is everything. They do not look at the part when you are dependent on that woman for emotional investment, love, and physical care. You actually need to be a good man to start with. She's giving up a major part of life to do this. I'm not talking about men with illnesses that severely impact their mental statuses. I'm talking about walking, talking men with health issues that they know will decline. They really do think women are sitting for this nonsense. It's not the money. It's not the physical aspect. It's the lack of honesty and lack of character. If you don't have to kiss anybody's butt, but at some point you compensate for illnesses by exerting a sense of care and concern for the um, woman you're hoping to land, and the men aren't doing that, they are simply just out there. They're not even working hard enough to get the land part. They are not sticking the landing. They are not acting like grown men um, anymore. They are acting like spoiled, disagreeable teenagers with money, but without work, without the working parts. It's discouraging, and I would never recommend this for anyone. I cannot. Even for women like me that have done it before, the toll is too great. I've ironed out some of the, some issues with my older but healthy active lover and told him this will be it. He will not find another like me, just like I will not find another like him, and we're going to permanently seal this companionship next year. Live your lives, ladies. And she goes on to say, don't get duped. This is what I mean by these hospice care wives series. It's not necessarily that you don't take care of the people that you are in love with and have grown with. Take care of those people, but take care of the people who have taken care of themselves and supported you. It's a give and take, not just take, take, take. 